Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, it's good to be back. I know the video content's been a little thin on the ground this past week, um, and I'll explain exactly why that's uh, been like that on the channel update video that I put out at the start of next month. Uh, anyway, on to today's video. Um, over the weekend, Valve and Steam uh, brought out a trading card beta program for the Steam client. Um, basically, this is just a, t a trial run for something that they're looking to add in the future. And I've been playing with it and it's really cool and I just wanted to show you guys what it was. Okay, so at the moment, the beta is opt-in only. So what you need to do is you need to go to the Steam website. Uh, you can see the URL here, but I'll read it out as well. It's steamcommunity.com forward slash groups forward slash trading cards. This will take you to the Steam trading card group. If you click join there, Basically, they are inviting new members uh, in waves. So don't worry if you don't get added straight away. It's probably going to be a day or two before they, they add the next batch of people. Uh, as you can see at the moment, there's, there's 300,000 um, members at the moment, and they're adding more regularly. Eventually, it's going to go into just kind of an open beta, I guess, or the full release version where everyone's going to be added automatically. Um, but at the moment, it is opt-in. So now you know how to join, I should probably explain what it is. Essentially, um, what Valve have done is they've created digital versions of trading cards, kind of like how Pokemon was, I guess um, there's other equivalents now. Uh, but essentially, you can collect, trade, or buy cards for certain games. The games that are actually participating in the beta at the moment are Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Dota 2, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike Go, and Don't Starve. So if you have any of these games, you'll actually be eligible to receive cards from them, and I'll go on to explain what card drops are in a minute, but first of all, I just wanted to show you some of the changes that Valve will have made to your profile once you uh, sign up to the Trading Card Beta program. So as you can see here, um, this is my profile, this is um, one that's been part of the, the beta. It looks very different to how it did before. Uh, you can see recent game activity, which shows you a big list of, of the things, which you could get to before, but it's right on the front of the profile now. Um, you can see the list of, of friends and your comments from there. So it just looks a little bit snazzier. And as you can see at the top here, you actually have levels now in your uh, profile. So I'm level 9, and you can see down in the bottom right what levels your friends are. Your level is actually linking to the badges, which you can see there, and badges link into cards. So this is probably a good time to explain exactly what the cards are and what they do. Each of the selected games have a set of cards linked to them. So you can see here the Portal 2 card set. If you click on one of these, it will take you through to a piece of artwork for the game, which is a really nice touch. Essentially, once you collect a set of these cards, you um, can create badges. Now, you only get four card drops for Portal, and there's an eight card total. So you can only get half of the cards through uh, drops. The rest you have to get through trading. And you can see here, I've gone to the Steam Community Market, and if you go to the category Steam, you can see a list of cards here. So these are people selling cards that they've received through drops or through trades, and this is how you would have to um, make up the rest of them. I actually um, have Half-Life 2 and Portal, and I wanted to make the full Portal set for the Portal badge. So I um, basically played a bunch of Portal 2 and I played a bunch of Half-Life 2, and I got four drops from each of them. I then sold my Half-Life 2 cards with it and made enough money to buy the rest of the Portal 2 set. So it's really, really cool that you can basically make the sets up from um, cards that you've received drops for that you don't want, if you get any duplicates and things like that. And once you complete your set, you can craft a badge. Now, what badges um, do is they increase your level, but they also give you little rewards. So, if we go to my inventory here, we can see that I've got um, a uh, discount voucher, a wallpaper for my profile, and a emo uh, emoticon. So here you can see I'm sending a message to one of my friends, um, and you get this little smiley face at the left of the send button. Uh, if you click on that, you have a set of emoticons already there and any that you've unlocked. So I unlocked the shell one and I can send that to him. It's like a little smug little smiley face. Now if you don't get one of those smiley faces, all you need to do is go to Steam and Preferences and then turn on the Steam Client Beta kind of drop down thing. 
Um, for Windows users, I think that's settings and then profile and then the exact same window will pop up. Just one final thing before I end this, I found a thread on NeoGAF uh, that shows you all of the badges. So you can see there's five levels of badges for each game. Uh, so that means you need to collect the, the whole set five times if you want to reach the highest level in that set of cards. Just thought it was cool. I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, that's going to be it, really. Uh, if I've missed anything out, let me know and I'll cover it if you'd like. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed, guys, and I'll see you soon.